Hey guys, just wanted to send out another quick video to you guys regarding self-marketing. Um, I know I sent an email out, out about this earlier this year, uh, and I know sometimes it's easier just to watch a video. So uh, self-marketing is something that we all should be doing, um, although most of the year we're so busy, there's no time for it. So um, October, November, December, and January are gonna be your four months that you're gonna wanna really concentrate on your self-marketing. Um, this is a super successful way um, to, to keep yourself busy during the slow season and, and really make sure you got a ton of requests during the busy season. So I used this methodology my first year uh, with the Elite Group uh, about six, seven years ago. And I was on top uh, my very next year with a request, uh, I was above 70% request the very next year. So uh, self-marketing is super key uh, to being successful as a home inspector and I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, the first thing I wrote down, the first thing I did was email, text, and phone calls. Um, very simple email, very simple text, uh, a very polite conversation on the phone, thanking them for their business, thanking them for making you a successful home inspector, wishing them happy holidays, anything uh, you can come up with. Just a quick little reminder to keep uh, you and the elite group in the back of their mind is going to increase their chances of calling and asking for you the next time. So, um, Emails and text. I used to do them, especially during um, the slow season. I would, I would, I would scour my ISN. I would find all my requested or areas that I wanted to work in, requested uh, agents, and I would send them all uh, thank you emails and happy holiday emails. And for those people that um, I felt a phone call was necessary, I'd do a phone call just to say happy holidays, and they really appreciate that. And it, it makes a huge amount of difference. So. Uh, if you're waiting for an inspection, if you're only getting the one a day, if you have a, a free day, take the time to, to get this down. And if you need some suggestions, call me and I can email you uh, or text you exactly what I text. Um, and and uh, hopefully that'll help you move forward. Uh, the other thing that you need to do, and, and a lot of people don't take advantage of this, is go visit a real estate office. I know we have sales guys out there. They're visiting offices all the time, daily. Hundreds, they're trying to hit 100 offices a week. Uh, they're doing their very best, but sometimes it makes a lot of sense for you just to pop your head in there, full uniform, walk in the door, introduce yourself to the front office. I always, always, always bring candy. So for instance, I just, uh, this is kind of diving into both market your area and visit a real estate office. I recently moved to Temecula. I wanted to see um, uh, that market there. I wanted to do some more inspections around there. So I visited a couple, I did a little research online, found out who the big offices were. I went into those offices. I went to Walmart and bought a bunch of candy canes and I taped my business cards to them. Uh, I brought in a bunch of flyers and I just left them with the front office, the front desk, and I am already seeing on my schedule uh, requested inspections for those areas. So, uh, you know, I'm not getting 100 million inspections, but I'm definitely seeing a benefit. My weeks are filling up and it's, it's the slow season. I did not expect to have that happen so fast. So take advantage of that. Visit an office if you want to visit an office in the area you want to work in. Uh, that's what I recommend. So, you know, if, if you live in, in Ranch Cucamonga and that's where you want to work, go visit an office nearby. Um, you know, if you live in uh, Laverne and you like working in Orange County, cruise down to Orange County or in between inspections down there, find an office, get a game plan together, bring in your business cards, bring in the flyers, just leave them with the front desk. If you get the chance to talk to anybody, cool. Otherwise, all you want is that presence of mind that you're there. So everybody loves candy. Someone's going to come grab a candy cane. They're going to have your, uh, your pretty face on there with your card, and they're going to call and ask for you. And that's the best way to do it. These are very simple tips. Take advantage of them. Shoot an email out. Shoot a text out. Call your favorite, um, your favorite clients, your favorite realtors. Uh, thank them for their business. Happy holidays. Give them some candy. Focus in your area, and I promise you guys, uh, this is not only going to help you stay busy during the slow season, it is going to pay off tremendously uh, when you move into the busy season. You're going to see a huge jump in your requests. So take advantage. Call me if you have any questions, guys, uh, and hopefully this will work out for you as well as it's worked out for me, and we'll see you on the next video.